Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. In this video, we will look at one example of finite difference method. For this example, use FDM. FDM stands for finite difference method to approximate the solution of the boundary value problem d squared y over dx squared equals to 2y. So this is our ODE. And given the boundary conditions, y0 equals to 1.2 and y1.0 equals to 0 0.9. With h equals to 0 0.25. So our step size is 0 0.25. So from this question, we know that this h is the delta x. So no need uh, to find the delta x. Delta x is equivalent to step size from the boundary conditions given to us this one we know that our x value start from 0 until 1.0 until 1 if it is x value x not x not x n. Okay, 1 is the last value for x. And the step size, the delta x, the h value is equal to 0 0.25. So, x1 is 0 0.25, x2 is 0 0.5, x3 is 0 0.75. Then, uh, from the boundary from these boundary conditions, we know that when x not equals to 0, y not equals to 1.2. So y not is 1.2. Okay, and when x n equals to 1, this is our x n, y n equals to 0 0.9. So basically, this n is 4. Uh, the x now it is it is x one and then x two, x three. So the last x is x four. So when x four equals to one, y four equals to zero point nine. So from this question, we need to solve the boundary value problem, meaning that we need to find what is the y values when x equals to 0 0.25, when x equals to 0 0.5, and when x equals to 0 0.75. So we need to find the value of y1, y2, and y3 by using the finite difference method. And from my uh, number line here, these are the interior nodes. So when x1 equals to 0 0.25, this is the first interior node. And at x2 equals to 0 0.5, it is uh, the second interior node. And when x3 equals to 0 0.75, it is the third interior node. Okay, next step you must rearrange the ODE, this ODE, in general form. And we know that the general form of ODE is Y double prime plus with P Y prime plus with Q, Y equals to R, I. And the first term of this general form, the Y double prime. Y double prime is the D squared Y over DX squared or the second order derivative. And the next term, P times with Y, double, y prime. Y prime is the first order derivative or the dy over dx and the next term q 
multiply with y and equals to ri. So this ri is actually just a constant. So from this ODE, we can transform it into d squared y over dx squared minus 2y equals to 0. Okay. And then the first step, uh, not the first step, actually it is the second step. Step number one is to rearrange your equation into general form. Step number two is to identify the value of P, Q, and R. Because in this general form of ODE, we have P value, Q value, and R value. And please note that P value is the coefficient of Y prime, the number in front of Y prime. Q is the coefficient of Y, the number in front of Y, and R is the constant. So, our P is equals to, because we don't have any Y prime in this equation, the, uh, we don't have any dy over dx, so P is equals to 0. And our Q, Q is the coefficient of Y, the number in front of Y, so the number in front of Y is negative 2. So negative 2 for Q. And R is the constant, and our constant now is 0. So R equals to 0. Okay, the next step is to substitute value of P, Q, R and delta X into finite difference method formula. So what is the finite difference method formula? So this is the FDM formula and no worries this formula this formula will, will be given in final exam so no need to memorize this formula and please note that in this formula the pi is just p value qi also just the q value and ri also just the r value you can omit the i subscript in P, Q, and R term. Okay, so 1 minus delta X. So our delta X is, delta X is the step size because this H is given in the question. So no need to find the H value. So H is 0 0.25. So 1 minus 0 0.25 over 2 times with P. So, P is 0. Times with Yi minus 1. So, Yi minus 1 minus 2 minus delta X square. So, 0 0.25 square. Q, Q is what? Q is negative 2. Times negative 2. Times with Yi plus 1 plus 0 0.25 over 2 times with P. P is 0. Yi plus 1 equals to 0 0.25 square times R. R is 0. Okay, and then you need to simplify. So this one becomes 0. And this is this one also becomes 0. So 1 minus 0, 1. 1 times yi minus 1. So just 1i minus 1. Minus with 2.125 yi. 
plus width, this one becomes zero. So one plus zero is one. So one times y i plus one. So y i plus one equals to this term also become zero. So equals to zero. The equation right here will be used to find the equations at each interior node. So what is our interior node? Our interior node is this one. When x equals to 0 0.25, when x equals to 0 0.5, and when x equals to 0 0.75. So the next step is to find the equation at each interior node. Okay, so uh, for the first interior node, at interior node number 1, where our i is equal to 1, okay, so y, okay, so you substitute i equals to 1 into this formula. So y zero minus two point one two five y one plus y two equals to zero. Okay, and then at interior node number two, where i is equals to two at this. This is interior num node number two. This is interior node number one. Okay, so our equation is y1 minus 2.125 y2 plus with y3 equals to zero. So you just substitute i equals to two into this equation. This one. Okay, next. At interior node number 3, where i equals to 3, so this is interior node number 3, so our equation is y2 minus 2.125 y2 plus with y4 equals to 0. So we only have three equations because we only have three interior nodes. Okay, but before I forgot, for interior node number 1, we have the y y naught terms. And we know that this y naught is given in the question y not equals to 1.2 this is our y not value so you, we can substitute this value into equation number one so this y not is 1.2 okay and maybe i can um move the 1.2 uh, to the other side of the equation so it will become negative 2.125 y1 plus y2 equals to negative 1.2. Okay, and also for equation number 3, for the interior node number 3, we have the value for y4. y4 is uh, the value when x equal, x4 equals to 1. This is our y4. So y4 equals to 0 0.9. So we can substitute y4 equals to 0 0.9 into equation number 3. So this y4 is 0 0.9. And I also can um, move this 0 0.9 term to the other side of the equation. So it will become y2 minus 2.125 y3 equals.